Mohammed, how do you feel in your early stages as a Rangers player? Are you settling in? Yes, um, I'm settling in very good. And I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of help from my teammates and, and the people around the club. So it's been amazing so far. How pleasing is it, the success you've had on the pitch already? Um, I'm going to be humble and continue doing what I'm doing. And because what is important for me is to look out for the next game. And what has already happened in the past is, I mean, it's good to, to, to have two goals, but then I only look forward for what I can do better. Yeah. Was gold something that you prioritised when you came here, something you thought you could bring to this team? Uh, I mean, yeah, I scored a few goals when I was back in Denmark and I wanted to, to, to make a lot of difference. And scoring goals is one of it, and I, I just want to get in the right places at the right time to, to, to make the difference. So, yeah, it's part of my, my game, I think, yeah. Is that uh, your defensive midfield position your strongest position, or would you say it's going further up? Um, I would say it's um, it, like box to box midfielder, where I can play like as a defensive midfielder also to give a lot to my team when we are attacking. So just run from box to box, yeah. Mm. yeah. How do you feel this move, or what do you think this move can do for your international ambitions to play for Ivory Coast? Uh, for me, I think it was the right step for me because Rangers is a, it's a big club and everybody knows about Rangers. So, and I hope they are watching me and I only can do what I have to do to persuade them, to convince them to, to get me in the national team. So, I, I think it's a, it's a right place to be to, yeah, to, to continue my football education or my, my career. Yeah. Did you quickly learn the demands of a club like Rangers? Yeah, I mean, before I came here, I had a good talk with the gaffer, and, and so I, I, I kind of knew what he was expecting from me and what I can bring to the team, so, yeah, that's... How do you settle into Scotland as a country? How do you find it since you arrived? Yeah, uh, people are amazing here, and it's, it's going well already for me, and my family is going to try and move here also to, to visit me, so I think it's, it's already been nice since I've been here and yeah, it's, it's nice because people are, are being nice to me and yeah, help, helping me a lot. Yeah. Since you've arrived, the team's been on the way around, won every game, and you since you've been here. So what do you think can be achieved this season? Because fans, you know, if you get to this point in the season, you're still in all competitions, they'll believe you can go all the way in all of them. What do you think as a player? Uh, what I think? Um, I will praise my teammate for the good work they've done already because um, I'm here for the last part of the season and I know they, they, they did already a good job uh, being on, on top and, and I know the reason why they are there because since I came I see they are working hard in training and everybody is really focused and for me and for my teammate we only focus on the little details which is what is next to do and the next game is tomorrow and that's the only thing we focus on and we see what, what happens but yeah. What was the Scottish game what you thought it would be in terms of the style of play? Uh, yes, I've seen some few games before I came and I know it's much more physical and much more a bit direct and so I was already expecting this before I came. And were there other clubs who were keen on you? Why did you specifically pick Rangers? Because it's, it's the best place I think it was for me to come and the manager really gave me a good feeling and so yeah, it was it. Can you, can you tell us what the manager said to you to get you there? <laughs> <laughs> Steady. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was just convincing me and he told me he knows how good I am and what I can bring to the team and that's something I wanted to hear from a manager, a top manager also and of course I've had like a call from different clubs but um, I really needed like something like that you know to, to boost myself and decide to come and I know Rangers for a very long time and and, and I, I know he's the, the best club in the world so I, why not so I just yeah. Trust.
Yeah, they said I got it from the, the guy who scouted me from Avicos when I was 11 years. He's called Joe Mulberry from England. So he, he scouted me from, from Abidjan and he got me a shirt from, 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 from Rangers. So I've been wearing that for some personal training in, in Ghana when I was in the academy. So just for... Yeah, I've, I've, I've been following Rangers a lot and I've seen yeah, what they have achieved. What they have. When Rangers then came in for you, did it make it extra special for you to now wear the shirt properly? Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it was. I would say it was uh, also one of the key moments that, that, that made the deal happen because I felt that I was in love with the club already from the young age. So. Score when, the last one, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing to, to score in front of your, your fans and for, for them to cheer for you and score my first goal and I hope there's many more coming so and I'm just happy to to meet my to make my, my first goal at Ibrox. Okay guys, thank you very much. Do the boys welcome down?